Alright, uh, in this uh, part, we're going to talk about rational inequalities. Uh. Uh, rational inequalities that involving rational function. So this is a type of uh, rational function. So, okay, uh, we have to understand the basics okay, of uh, rational inequality because the sign, the sign, uh, the sign. So this is negative, right? Less than zero means negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So this is a negative situation. So negative situation. So of course, if you see that uh, inequality become a negative, right? Negative. When, what is the value of x that causing this inequality to become negative? So we have to some, uh, we have to think about it, okay? So this one is positive. You see that uh, six is a positive number, right? Uh, how come this become a negative? How come this become a negative? If you positive divide by a positive, it should be a positive, right? So of course, if this is become negative, must be something below here, the, the denominator must be negative. Uh, you have to decide. Why? Why negative? Why not positive? Because positive divide by negative, you will get negative, right? So this the solution will be x less than 3. Uh, this is a solution for... for for this in, uh, rational inequality. Okay, now we go for the simple case. Uh. Okay, you choose any value, you choose any value less than three. For example, you choose uh, one, you choose, uh, you, you choose one. Six, you choose one. Uh. For example, you choose one. So we have uh, one minus three. You will give six divided by negative two. You get negative three, right? Negative three is less than zero. Yes, correct, right? That's correct. You choose any value. You choose 2, you choose 0, you choose negative 1. You put inside here, you will always get a number that less than 0. Uh, this is a solution, right? A solution. So, okay, you may not understand. So now I'm asking you, if I say 6 over x minus 3, uh, greater than 0, uh, positive. This is a situation where when you divide 6 by a number, the unknown, this is unknown, right? Uh, so you don't know. But 6 must be positive and more than 0 means positive. So positive divide by negative, you will get negative, right? But this case is positive. So positive, 6 is a positive number, divide by positive, then you will get positive, right? So of course the x minus 3 must be positive. So x more than 3, right? x more than 3. You try to think, if you choose any number more than 3, uh, 4. 4 minus 3? 1. 6 over 1? Yes. 6. 6 is greater than 0. So this is how you analyze. So, okay, I give you another example. Uh, I hope you can understand uh, the, the, the basic part of this topic. So, let's say let's say you have a negative negative 2 divided by uh, 4 minus x. Then I tell you, this will be a negative. Uh, what will causing this rational function to be negative? Uh, so you have, to, you have to analyze. You don't say, sir, what is the method? Uh, there are no method. You need to think. Why is it negative? Uh, less than zero means negative. Uh, the situation where the fraction is negative. Yes. If you see, this number is negative, right? Uh, this is a negative situation, negative. So negative divide by positive or negative divide by negative, right? So of course, if you have negative, you have to divide by positive to get negative, right? Uh, to get less than zero. But if you divide by negative, it will become positive, right? So of course, therefore, from your observation, 4 minus x must be a number positive, a positive number. Positive, right? More than zero. Why? Because negative, you have a positive, you get negative. So you have uh, 4 more than x, right? x. So or I can say x less than 4, right? Uh, you choose any number less than 4, you will definitely get a pos uh, negative number. You choose uh, 3, 3 or you choose uh, 0, you choose 0, then you have negative 2 over 4 minus 0, right? You have negative 1 over 2, which is less than 0, which is true. So this will be the solution for these inequalities, right?
So I hope you understand this type of uh, rational inequality. The first type.